my channel. My name is Sneaker Dad. CT. I'm a dad in Connecticut and I really like thrifting. I really like vintage clothing and I really like sneakers. Today we're on a trip up to Massachusetts to visit my favorite Goodwill. This place usually has crazy stuff. I found a 92 vintage Olympic Dream Team uh, t-shirt there recently. Just sitting there on the rack for a buck. I swooped it up. They usually have great like uh, hunting themed single stitch tees, old sweatshirts. So we're gonna head up there, we're gonna see what they have, see if we can snag anything. I'm brand new to this, I'm still learning. Uh, I figured I'd bring you along and see if, like, uh, well, if you give me any advice, that'd be great. Who knows, maybe you'd uh, be interested in coming along and seeing me fumble around, try to figure out the reselling market. I'm having a blast so far. I sold a bunch of stuff. I'm not making a ton of money, but it makes this hobby of mine worth it. it. Makes it a lot more fun when you're seeking stuff out, not just for yourself or your kid or your wife, but for just whoever. And I think of it as an art project. Anyway, we're on our way up to Massachusetts. First stop of the day. I didn't plan this stop, but I realized that they're open. They're only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's the Palmer Co-op. Not much clothing wise, but they have lots of cool stuff. Let's go scope it out. It's a no-go at the Palmer Antiques Co-op. Some cool stuff, but uh, I took a pass. Although, it is tempting to buy that um, Eeyore jacket. I think there might be some money in that. We'll have to do some more research. And also the McDonald's cups. Might have to come back here.
some amazing stuff at the Goodwill today. Look at these. All right, we're back home after our adventure to Western Mass. Let's see what we got. As you saw from the video there, that place had some crazy hats. Apparently someone came in with two garbage bags filled with hats and gave them to them. So I think I was the second person to see, see them. So here's what we got. UNLV, look at this, snapback. Beautiful condition, completely unworn, dead stock. Looks like it's from the 90s. I'm gonna save some of these for last because they're my favorites. Look at this guy, AEO. Total 90s vibes there. I love the super padded soft headband area. This looks like it's really good for like tennis. Stuff out there, grandfather vibes. If you really like the movie Tootsie from the 80s, I don't know if that's affiliated, it's probably not. Great shape, unworn, just like all the others. It's crazy. Look at look at the colors on that. Gorgeous. Some of these I'm skipping. These are so good. Just a classic, you know, your old Cook Builder Supply Co. Snapback. Never been worn. A lot of the heads had this yellow stuff. It was all crumbling out. So there's like yellow dust on all these from the old dead stock hats that just totally crumbled. Like they were an old pair of Jordans or something. Beautiful, nice brown. Wear those with your Travis Scott ones. You know you got your big dogs hat? This is for the big dogs. So like, Absolutely beautiful. I don't know, this this one might have been worn. Or it just has some like yellowing with age. But it's got the beautiful brim, look at that. It's like suede. Nice embroidered big dog. I love it. It's your classic, you know, your bridge master stamp back. Great shape. A little bit of cat hair from the thrift. I like this one because it's got the super warm, it's like fully enclosed and not crumbling, kind of surprised. So this one's really nice. I don't know what vintage these are. If, you, if, any, if anyone out there is an expert, hit me up, let me know. What are they like, 80s? I'd guess 80s, but I really don't know. Like I said, I'm new to this, so um, I, I don't pretend to be an expert. I just buy stuff that looks cool to me. Jane J. Busco. Gorgeous screen printing, never been worn. I just can't get over the shape these are in them. Just gorgeous. Someone's gonna want these. For all you Irishmen's and women's, Irish women's out there, nice Ireland vintage snapback. Never been worn. Crazy. I don't know, I kinda wanna keep this one. Looks so good. All right, on to my favorites. United Colors of Benetton. This is like wool. And it almost looks like, uh, my dad used to go to Japan and bring us back Japanese baseball hats. And they had this kind of a slider design. I don't know what that's called. But this looks like it's unworn. Yeah, the Japanese ones had this like visor. We used to flip this down wear it over our eyes. It's pretty perfect. Anyway, I thought that was nice. Then we got this Rossignol, Rossignol. I think that's like for tennis, right? I'm pretty sure. Gorgeous. It's got the like, that kind of slider thing in the jig. Sorry for my ignorance, I don't know what it's called. Beautiful shape. Look at the embroidery on that corduroy. I mean, Total show on water spoon vibes. Big time. New with tag sticker still included. This one's another one. I, I don't know. I might have to keep this. 
All right, down to the last three. Bam. I mean, I can't even say anything about this. Personal cop. It's not going on sale. All right, now I found two of these. Watherspoon Vibes, Corduroy, Barnet. Look at that. This one has some like red marks. I might try to get that out. It almost looks like it, it's been stored with this next hat I'm gonna show you for like 20 or 30 years because I also have this. Holy smokes. So I bet they were like, they've been like this for 30 years and some of it got rubbed off. I mean, it's fine. Like, like it doesn't bother me. I don't know, I might try to put it or something. Never been worn. Just completely sick. Unbelievable. Oh, also, I gotta, I gotta mention, like usually my voice doesn't sound like I'm sick, but I'm sick, so it sounds like I'm sick. Sorry about that. Thanks for hanging in there. I've edited all my coughing out, so at least you don't have to hear that. All right, so I bought some clothes while I was there too. Um, didn't only buy hats. Here are the clothes that I found. Look at this cool faded flannel. Like, I know these aren't hype or anything, but I just love faded, worn in flannel, Woodland brand. I mean, XXL tall. So this is big. This could fit like a sneaker dad, no prob. Beautiful, I love that. This next one I, I scored for my daughter or wife probably. Uh, if they don't like it, which happens a lot with stuff I pick out for them, uh, I'll put it up on my Depop and stuff. But totally like 90s vibes, gorgeous half zip sweatshirt thingamajig. Like this is my wheelhouse. I love stuff like this, 80s, 90s kind of like grandma style clothes. I don't know if it sells all that well. It seems like it does pretty well at least, but like, I just love it. I can't get enough of this kind of thing. All right, here's like a, a basic piece, but I think I might have to hold on to this. Just because the check is so big. Like look at how big this check is. Got the hoodie, just a basic Nike. Got the old school tag. And just a big check in great shape. I think I can wear this. I think this is probably not going in here. All right, last but not least, I found this crazy t-shirt, single stitch, on a Screen Stars Best tag. You know it's obvious. It's taking care of business. He's all dressed in black leather. How can you beat this one? I don't know what to charge for this, but I'm sure it's got some work to it. It's really nice on here. Anyway, that's my haul for today. I didn't end up getting those McDonald's cups. I probably should have. They were really cool. Um, did see that Eeyore jacket. That'll probably be there if I head back later, but I don't know. I couldn't find like the same jacket to see if it was worth some money. And that's not, like, I don't really love Disney stuff, which I don't know, it's heresy with, with selling clothes, but anyway, I'm still thinking about that. Um, chime in if you think I'm an idiot. I mean, I'm sure you do. This is my first video. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun shopping clothes, trying to sell some clothes. All this stuff behind me is for sale. Uh, check me out on Depop, Sneaker Dad CT. I'm also on Mercari and Poshmark. Uh, feel free to follow me. Give me a like or whatever. Like, uh, if not, that's cool too. I'm just doing this for fun. And uh, I hope you have fun coming out to Massachusetts with me. Sneaker Dab. Signing off.